is I have <laughs> just been bitten for the first time by Diego. Uh, but sorry to disappoint but there's no mark. It was um, basically because I've got these wax worms and I always put them in a fridge and then I sort of warm them up in my hands and they usually wriggle around it's all good. So my geckos know that they're getting food but they're not wiggling so Diego's like where's it all at? So when I tried to pick him up to just move him in front of it he's in that sort of hunting mode and he sort of turned around and just the side of his mouth pinched part of my hand I was like oh my god um what I'm using now instead of my hand is a pen but watch this because here try to go for the pen I'm trying to say look this is a wax one. Oh, oh oh no see look see he's confused this Diego is not your food are you gonna get it now Diego oh he's smelting it Yes, finally. Wax worms. Um, I don't usually do feeding videos like when I'm actually it's feeding time, um, but this is the rare time when they get wax worms. So because they don't get fed them very often, that's why I put them in the fridge, in their little tub, um, just so they slow down their process. But unfortunately, apart from that one moving there, a lot of these just aren't moving. So I'm warming them up in my hand. I'll try now with Gizmo. Actually, dusting them in vitamin powder today I put them in the lid and you just shake it a little bit it sort of dust them still pretty lifeless remember though when you do put them in the fridge make sure they are warm before giving them to your gecko Gizmo look at her face when she sees this Giz hey baby <laughs> well she's really not interested today uh, but let's see if she can actually catch the wax worms. Get it? And then I went to use the other end of the spoon. But the spoon has pretty much been attacked right now. So I'm like saying, here's a wax worm. But she... See? Oh, oh. Eat the wax worm. makes me jump especially when you're looking at it through a camera at least she got it six because uh, Ziggy and Minnie are pretty much next-door neighbors so I go over and feed them at the same time and both of them have kicked dirt in their water dish so that will need cleaning uh, but they pretty much get along really well so I can sort of feed them at the same time so Zig there's one yeah she doesn't really bother with stuff if it doesn't move there's Minnie if you put your hand in there, she's going to attack it. Um, Ziggy? Your food's already in there. This is going to be a long feed, so I'm just going to stop it here and resume in a moment. Oh, oh. Oh, maybe she smelled it. Nice guys, so I, had a, <laughs> I thought I had a technique. I thought it was just going to drop forward, but it's not, and Ziggy's now walking around with a wax worm on her head and Minnie has caught her wax worm but yeah right now <laughs> luckily the wax worm's pretty much dead so it's not biting her or anything but um that that's a fancy hat going on there Ziggy my hand feeding Ziggy so if you thought I was jumpy Gizmo if she goes to get this I'm gonna freak out so she ah! oh I bet I just totally missed that didn't I Okay, one sec, let's try it again. Okay, make sure I'm filming. Yay! That wasn't too bad. This is going fairly well, actually, with these two. Um, so I'm going to probably end it here because I'm going to finish off there of like one wax worm left each, but... Um, I've been asked to do sort of feeding videos for a while, and probably the easiest ones are usually wax worms. So I thought I'd quickly film this and hope this has been a bit of an insight if you're thinking of getting a leopard gecko and figuring out what feeding is like. Can I just say, as I said at the start, this is like the first time Diego's ever bitten me. Definitely my fault. You shouldn't really pick up your gecko when they're trying to feed, especially if there's one like Diego, who is a pretty good hunter. But I've got to say, it didn't hurt, so <laughs> it's all good. Thank you for watching and goodbye.